Hello and welcome to more Nerdy Rodent Geekery. Today I am having a quick look at Infinite Nature. Perpetual view generation of natural scenes from a single image by all these people over at Google Research. Of course, all the links are down in the description. There's the, uh, the paper there on archive.org, so lots of detail there and uh, an abstract and bits and pieces on github.io that has a couple of videos sort of showing you what you can do. So you've got the image and you're there zooming into nature perpetually. And of course, they've got the links up here to the Colab demo and the GitHub page as well. So you've got the Colab demo there and the GitHub page. So you can download and have a little play locally as well. So let's have a look at the Colab notebook first. As always, all you have to do with these is uh, just click on the play button and all the cells. I have done this already because it takes a little while to download and install TensorFlow there, does all those bits, click to play on all of those, and then down at the bottom, you finally have this Infinite Nature interactive demo. So I'll just click step there to stop it uh, going through a little bit. And uh, let's go Let's go this way. So I'll put the cross there, go step, and it, it goes in. And I can click step again, and it'll, it'll keep going in that direction. Fantastic. Or, as you saw, you can click play, and, and that will keep keep going. There you go. It's it's going in, going in for a zoom. Infinite nature, infinite nature. Now, being me, of course, um, I didn't start this one um, with uh, an image of nature, so to speak. You can click the upload button there to uh, to upload your own image. I started with a picture of a marmot because why not? I mean, it's got some nature in it. It's got some nature in it, but surely, surely. Everyone in the world wants to do infinite zoom into a marmot. Yeah? That looks pretty weird, doesn't it? Looks pretty weird and then eventually turns into uh, actual proper nature, so to speak. Um, you can do pretty much all this stuff as well, locally as well. So you just have to uh, perhaps install Subversion and download all the pickles and bits and pieces. So there's the, uh, there's the page on GitHub. It does these little tiny videos here. They are quite small, but uh, you can upscale them a little bit and uh, and they still look OK. So there is the Colab notebook, which you've seen already. Instructions for running locally. So uh, basically, uh, you know, pip install minus r requirements.txt or in my world, I like to create a, a new Anaconda environment to start off with. I uh, started off with conda create minus minus name infinite nature because that's what it is. It's inf that's what it's called. So that's what I called my environment. <laughs> And uh, it's a little bit different to a, a git pull because this this is sort of a, a sub sub repository here. Um, so uh, just installed Subversion and then did an SVN export of this Google Research Trunk Infinite Nature Tree, just like they say in here. And uh, changed into the directory. Did all the wgets. Get uh, the checkpoint there is a little bit large, 529 meg. But um, but yeah. Um, I also changed the requirements.txt um, because it defaults to TensorFlow 2.2. Uh, I'm on Ampere and need to do 11. So um, yes, it turns out it does work uh, with TensorFlow 2.4.1, which is the current version at the time of recording. Uh, so then I did a, a pip install requirements.txt. So if I just show you that, where are we? There you go. Uh, so I just said, yeah, let's just, just do it greater than 2.2. <laughs> And uh, it, it pulled down whatever the, uh, the latest one was. Uh, you then have to run this little command as well to fetch their TF mesh renderer. Uh, and I've also got a, a dirty little hack for using uh, CUDA 11 with TensorFlow 2.4.1 and Anaconda, which is basically uh, linking in this libcul solver into uh, the virtual environment and calling that 10 instead of 11. And, uh, and that, that dirty hack seems to work. Anyway. So once, you, once you've done all that, once you've uh, installed some version, git pulled it, downloaded all the weights, uh, unzipped that checkpoint, installed the requirements and run the source download, then uh, you can actually start doing uh, the auto cruise. Uh, they've got the auto cruise here. It mentions the auto cruise down here, running auto cruise. So there, Python minus M auto cruise output folder, auto cruise. 
and uh, the number of steps you want to run. Now, you want to play with that a little bit. I'm going to go. Uh, I'm going to go for 150 steps because reasons. And uh, there is the autocruise.py. So as you can see, there's a few defaults in here. Number of steps, 500 by default. And uh, you've got a few things that you can play with a little bit. Um, yes, you can change the, uh, the starting point there. So uh, for example, I can, I can change that to a 0.5 and let's change that to a 0.4 and let's, uh, let's change that to a 0.6. There we go. That'll give us something nice and random. Uh, and uh, I also changed the uh, output type to JPEG rather than PNGs just because just because reasons really just because reasons smaller smaller is the reasons right so if I run that down there there we go it starts doing its TensorFlow stuff a few things deprecated but hey we don't really care about that it's generating zero out of 150 frames 100 frames generated, 150 generated. There you go. So in the auto cruise directory over here, you now have 150 frames of infinite zoom video. There it is going in. As you can see, they're a little bit small, a little bit small, but um, you can always upscale them. You can always upscale them a bit. So what I'm using for an upscaler here is Waifu 2X. You can, uh, you can download it there, unzip it, and you've got a little binary. Um, the only problem with that is um, I found that if I try to uh, to upscale it more than twice with this particular version at the moment, there seems to be a bug where it crashes. So uh, rather than uh, upscaling it four times straight away, I'm just going to upscale it twice and then upscale that one twice again as well. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so now I have... Uh, once it's finished doing that in my new waifu2 directory. That shouldn't take too much longer. There we go. So now we have some, some slightly more reasonable sized frames. There you go. And uh, as always, you can just make a, a movie out of those using FFmpeg. So there's an FFmpeg command. There we go. A few things makes my movie. And there we've got a movie. There we've got a movie. Look at that. Infinite nature. Just going on forever. You can have a lot of frames. You can upload your own images, play with this autocruise.py. There's lots of settings in here like fly speed and horizon and near fraction and all that sort of stuff you can play with. So, um, yes, there you go. Infinite nature, lots of fun. And uh, yeah, do enjoy Google Colab Notebook or running it locally. That's it for now. Rodin's out.